Matter, why Ken's wrong? Matter consists of protons, neutrons, and electrons. Find out why this proven scientific fact distresses Ken Wheeler, leading him to concoct demonstrably false claims about fundamental science. Scientists define matter as any substance that has mass and volume. Matter has three familiar states, solid, liquid, and gas. Matter consists of atoms. Atoms contain three subatomic particles, protons, neutrons, and electrons. Remarkably, Ken Wheeler views these established scientific facts as part of a vast conspiracy to hide the truth. He claims electrons don't exist, neutrons are a kind of proton, and that atoms are indivisible protons. J.J. Thompson proved the existence of electrons in 1897. Thompson discovered that cathode rays consist of tiny corpuscles emitted from within the cathode. He said, I have called these particles corpuscles, but they might be named electrons on account of their being carriers of negative electricity. Thompson received the Nobel Prize in 1906 for discovering the electron. In 2008, the journal Physical Review Letters published video footage of electron motion captured by the Lund University Faculty of Engineering in Sweden. Returning to the early 20th century, Ernest Rutherford, Hans Geiger, and Ernest Marsden discovered the nucleus of the atom in 1913. Rutherford realized that the atom's positive charge had to be concentrated in particles at the atom's center, which he called protons. James Chadwick discovered the neutron in 1932. He found that radioactive elements emitted particles with neutral charges. Neutrons explain why atoms of the same element have different weights. The angry photographer insists that electrons don't exist. Instead, he claims they're ether perturbation modalities. As we explain in more detail under field theory why Ken's wrong, Mickelson and Morley found that the ether doesn't exist in 1887. Charles Proteus Steinmetz, whom Kentucky Ken calls one of the gods of field theory, called the ether hypothesis a mistake. Within the nucleus, Ken Wheeler also maintains that neutrons are merely a category of protons. He bases this notion on the claim that free neutrons quickly decay into protons. The angry photographer doesn't mention that when free neutrons decay into protons, they release electrons, which he claims don't exist. Secondly, neutrons inside the nucleus are highly stable and they differ from protons in two ways. They're neutrally charged and they have greater mass. A neutron is absolutely not a kind of proton. Another angry photographer claim is that matter is high energy light. Light occupies no space and has no mass. We know this intuitively from our own experience. When we enter a room and switch on the light, the light doesn't use up any space within the room or increase its weight. The YouTuber behind Theoria Apophasis points to a recent experiment. Professor J. Adam and his team conducted it in 2021. The team caused photons in laser beams to collide, emitting electrons and their antimatter equivalent, positrons. So even though Ken Wheeler denies that photons and electrons exist, he claims that this experiment involving them somehow proves his point. The scientists used the relativistic heavy iron collider, which uses Einstein's special relativity theory. Ken Wheeler dismisses Einstein as a woolly-haired crackpot and rejects all of his theories as nonsense. In his primer, Cosmic Unity, the angry photographer claims that when the frequencies in the ether reach a certain barrier he calls C, 
light becomes a closed-loop, non-propagating torus that inexplicably uses spherical harmonics to form hydrogen atoms. In support of this notion, the YouTuber behind Theoria Apophasis has self-published a mathematical formula. The formula goes like this, P equals F C cubed, where P equals proton, F equals frequency, and C equals capacitance. This equation has several flaws. Ken Wheeler defines proton as hydrogen or zero hysteresis EMR, electromagnetic radiation. Electromagnetic radiation, light, isn't hydrogen or any other element of matter, and protons aren't atoms. According to the angry photographer, frequency is the magnetic force vector with temporal propagation below C cubed. Everyone else defines frequency as the number of recurrences of an event over time. Capacitance means an object's ability to store an electrical charge, not the ether induction rate. None of the terms in this equation make any sense. They don't even share a common unit of measure. Trying to multiply them together is nonsense. <coughs> Speaking of hydrogen, the Theoria apophasis host insists that all chemical elements are compounded hydrogen. Hydrogen is the very simplest of all the elements. It consists of a single proton and a single electron. Elements don't form by compounding hydrogen. Elements can't be compounded by definition. Conversely, compounds consist of multiple elements. Elements are elements and compounds are compounds. Why does Ken Wheeler attempt to deny these proven scientific concepts? Oddly, it has to do with his belief in an afterlife. In ancient Greece, Plato and most of his students tended to believe in the ether. They were also inclined to accept the idea of reincarnation. On the other hand, some of Plato's rivals, like Democritus and Epicurus, believed matter consisted of atoms. Coincidentally, they also tended to argue that death was the end of human consciousness. What does any of this have to do with our modern scientific understanding of the nature of matter? Nothing whatsoever. Kentucky Ken has convinced himself that atomism equals materialism equals atheism equals nihilism equals evil. That's why he struggles against these proven scientific facts about the composition of atoms tooth and nail. Anyone who takes his odd notions about matter to heart will have to unlearn and relearn the fundamentals of basic science because of his disinformation. If it weren't for that issue, Kentucky Ken's odd notions on these matters would hardly matter at all. After all, none of them contain a particle of truth. <laughs>